the venous system of the lower limb is divided into the superficial and the deep system. The largest superficial vein is called the long saphenous vein and it extends from the ankle all the way to the thigh where it joins the deep system near the groin. This junction is protected by a valve to allow blood to flow in only one direction. If the valve gets destroyed, this unidirectional flow no longer exists and the vein becomes dilated, large and tortuous and the patient develops a condition called the varicose vein. Varicose veins can also occur due to other reasons but an incompetence of the saphenofemoral valve is a common cause. The conventional approach to this disease has been removing the vein by a surgery called stripping. Today, thanks to newer interventional radiology techniques and the image guidance, a catheter which has a radio frequency probe attached to it is taken all the way up into the saphenous vein. Then this catheter is gradually pulled out during which the probe generates radio frequency which in turn tends to heat and destroy the vessel walls. The procedure takes about 30 to 40 minutes and the patient is discharged after a few hours. The results of RF ablation of the long saphenous vein is comparable to that with surgery with extremely low discomfort.